Hello everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Ghost 1.0. This is a 2D action platformer Metroidvania style game from the developer that made Unepic, which was a game that came out a couple years ago. Also uh, Metroidvania style. I never actually got to play it though, um, but I heard some really good things about it. So this is that developer's new game. Um, made, I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of voice actors. Uh, he got, he does a lot of the work himself, um, but you can see he does, you know, I had some help from others with music and graphics and stuff like that, but I really wanted to show off that there are, um, a lot of voice actors in the game, uh, which is really, really unusual for a indie game. So, uh, we'll just call this... YouTube, or I don't think it's gonna use that name in game, but just in case it does. So we can play in classic mode or survival mode. Survival mode is um, kind of roguelike. I believe the maps are the same, but um, items are random, difficulty is harder, and when you die, you lose everything. We're gonna play on classic. And we'll play on medium because I don't trust myself on hard. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. You're coming up to the security checkpoint. We're going to hold communications until you reach your destination. Enjoy the ride. So I'll try not to talk over the voice acting. There is and quite a bit of it. The product of the giant Nakamura Corporation has become a revolution in artificial intelligence. We are talking about the Naka. A new robot that has become the perfect housekeeper in millions of homes around the world. It imitates human behavior so well that it can understand, learn, and do anything. Those fools are playing God. They have no idea what they're doing. They constructed a whole new intelligent race. Artificial beings who can think like us, have their own desires, and make their own decisions, but without human limitations. Do you know what this means? I know. The potential of this new intelligence is infinite. And it must be ours. Ghost, we will sneak you into the Nagamora space station. Conspicuous storage container. Once inside, your mission is to find the space station's core and copy Nakamura's primary artificial intelligence algorithms. We will be in constant communication to assist you when needed. Nakamura's inner defenses will be active, so be ready to face heavy resistance. We only have one chance. Do not fail us. Yeah, it's a pretty big space station. We are going to take the role of Ghost. Ghost, Operations Chief here. You should already be inside. Switch on your camera hack system. So we do have a little tutorialization to go through here. And as far as I can tell, we are not actually here, but we are controlling... Um, our character, which you'll see. And that is us. team is trying to open that vertical door. We will need some time. Ghost, Boogan here. I provided you with a discharge gun. It has capacitors which hold a maximum of 32 rounds at a time. They're always recharging, so ammo will always only be a few seconds away. Unlimited ammo, huh? Let's take this toy for a spin. While you're busy with that door, I'll have fun testing this beauty on some crates. All right. So I can aim with the right stick, fire with the trigger, as it's telling me. I forget which button I had set to movement. I can also just um, also aim which way I'm pointing to, so I can go some standard Metroid style aiming as well if I want. I may have to fiddle with the sound effects a little bit there. Oh, he's probably pretty loud. Let me, um... Oh yeah, that's just showing me. I'll get to that pretty soon. Uh, let me turn down the sound effects a little bit here. 
So I'm not blowing everything out of the water. Door opened. Does the word stealth mean anything to you? You said the alarms were down. Was I making a lot of noise? Ah, uh, yes. Maybe a little too much. From now on, please only use force when strictly necessary. One last thing, Ghost. For security reasons, all future comms should start with the code name Houston. Acknowledged. And if you're not already seeing the obvious joke coming from that, well, you won't have to wait long. Um, also, uh, it does talk about stealth, but you don't have to play stealthy. Um, but it seems like that is an option. I've only played about 20 minutes into the game. I basically just played enough to see, you know, is this something I would enjoy doing a series on? So I knew nothing about this game. I didn't even know it was coming out. I just happened to see it on the Steam um, page, uh, the front store page, and I thought I would try it out. Houston, I see a lot of robots moving crates across an overhead bridge. Those could be supplies moving in and out of Nagamora. Ghost. Find a way into that corridor. Quietly, if you don't mind. Roger. Yeah, I'm not good with stealth, so... Looks like a sentry ahead. Houston wants stealth? I'll show him stealth. Okay, Ghost. Keep out of sight. So I don't know if you can actually get by this stealthily. I'm gonna try though. Yeah, I guess you can. Oh, I'll wait though. Oh, I think it's walking all the way over here. How about that? <laughs> that's actually, that's pretty funny. There is actually a different scene there if you do that. And the alarm grids they're talking about will come into play Houston, pretty soon. We have a problem. This panel says there's the Houston, we have a problem. Security clearance blue. We already have our team working on it. It should be opening now. <laughs> Automatic defense. Also, we'll get a little, it's it's going to be very cutscene and dialogue heavy for a little bit, but it'll open up in, in a little bit as well, I believe. So just bear with it. If you're not big into cutscenes, just bear with it for now. They are, I must say, again, the voice acting is, is very solid, and the scenes I've seen so far are actually very, very good. Houston, I'm in front of a strange device. Look. They have a 3D printer. If we can scan the model of our robot, we could print from there. You mean we could create more robots if Ghosts gets destroyed? That's it, man. Jesus, it's like having infinite lives. Houston, are you there? Sorry, Ghost. Operations Chief here. Access the far terminal for us. Acknowledged. So these are our save points. Houston, I'm in front of the terminal. Instructions? Connect the transmission device to the console. I'm on it. Device connected. Can you access it? Bingo! Link has been established. All right, Ghost. This printer will allow us to create a new robot for you should your current one be destroyed. Place yourself on the printer. We're going to scan you. Acknowledged. It's a little cheesy, but I do kind of appreciate the actual conceit for, you know, what saving means. Scan finished. We can continue. I don't believe... Um, so you can get different skins and stuff, but yeah, I can't do that just yet. Ghost, Operations Chief here. We're diverting resources to opening 
the next door. Please stand by. Man, why do you say operations, Chief? And what's up with the voice modulator? To make her comfortable. She's used to large operations with established companies. If she finds out it's just us two, it may make teamwork more... complicated. I don't know, man. You're making it plenty complicated already. We're paying for her services, right? That fact alone should be yeah, enough for that. her to work with us. Trust me, Boogan. Appearances are very important. Do you two realize that you've left your comm lines open? Hello. You've reached the voice <laughs> mailbox of... Operations Chief. Please leave your message after the beep. You don't have to pretend you're some sort of secret organization. Beep. Hello, this is Ghost. Victor told me you're two geeks with money who hired my services. Am I right, Operations Chief? Or should I say, Jacker? Bloody Victor! <laughs> she caught you! Victor and I are going to have a serious talk later. Proceed, Ghost. The door is now accessible. So, no more Operations Chief. We're just hired by a couple of computer geeks. just shot two of their own. Maybe because of a certain power outage? Don't know what you're talking about. Feel free to open fire. Alright, so we get kind of some of our first real combat here. We get these enemies. See, they can aim in pretty much any direction. It does lock a little bit, I think, to certain angles. Um, it does seem to have a little bit of aim assist too, which is very nice. Crates can sometimes have um, pickups in them, health and ammo and things like that. Uh, ammo is infinite, at least for this weapon, um, but it does take time to recharge. So sometimes enemies or crates will drop little ammo pickups to refill you instantly. Oh, I actually took damage there. See, we have quite a bit of health, too. We have 300 health. Enemies aren't doing a ton of damage here. And they're not too dangerous. Enemies can also uh, break crates as well. Let's see. I'll go... Try to check these rooms first. Yeah, I don't know if we can eventually open all of these rooms uh, with these locked barricades here. Ghost. Ghost, can you read me? We can't see into that room. What's happening? There's something suspicious in here. It looks like... What? What is it? Just a box. <sighs> yeah, these guys are going to get along. And there's, as far as I know, there's literally nothing in here. She's just trolling. Gun is auto fire as well if you hold down the button. I don't believe it fires faster tapping it. No, it does not. All right, so that unlocked that. What was that sound? For your information. Houston, I'm busy. <sighs> All right, what were you saying? Three androids being dropped on your position. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Now there's actually a little robot in the background here. That, uh, it looks like he's trying to repair that turret. I don't know if they can actually do that. Oh, I can kill them though, interesting. Um, yeah, you will see that my cursor locks on to enemies sometimes as well. That's very interesting that, um... Yeah, I'd be really curious to know if those are just background things or if they actually can repair those enemies eventually. These guys are kind of some melee units, and there that was some ammo right there. Yeah, it makes it an instant fill. Which is pretty nice, especially when you're fighting a lot in a row. And as you can see from our inventory, I get the feeling we're gonna get a lot of weapons. I don't especially secondary weapons. There's a huge number of slots there. 
I don't know if there are secret walls and things like that. My guess would be eventually yes. Alright, we get some health. Pretty nice. Wow, she really pissed them off. Yeah, but she's handling it. You think she's Calm line. Oh, whoops. I wonder if I can jump out here. Yeah, take care of these guys this way. Just thing I do want to look at is uh, to make sure. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure my cursor was actually showing up. You can actually see where I'm aiming. Obviously, tutorial enemy is not too difficult. Um, but they will get some good shots off on you. This guy is pretty relentless. In fact, I already just took 100 damage there. I don't really have any dodge moves or anything as of yet. But I do believe I have infinite range, so I can kind of take advantage of that. Or I should be taking advantage of that, rather. Ah, so here's a good example of what happens when you are out of ammo. Oh, they can actually come down the elevators! How about that? There we go. So the, uh, the little pickups give you 10 ammo, it looks like. Yeah, there's those robots again. Hmm. I'd like to find a 3D printer here. Houston, that box had a strange cube. Shall I pick it up? Ghost, hold on while we scan it. Do you know what it is? This is fascinating. It's energy in cube form that can be absorbed and collected within the chassis. Did she just find Energon? Funny. No, not Energon. Man, not sure what it's used for up there. When in doubt, follow RPG rules. Pick up everything because you'll need it later. Oh, not again, please. Jacker, this is real life, not a game. What's the difference, Dr. Falcon? Collect them as you see them. We'll find out their purpose later, Ghost. Acknowledged. Something that's interesting about these two is, see how this one is very small now? It actually only gives you one, but if you pick it up right away, it gives you ten. Um, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like an additional challenge for when they're dropping in combat, that you want to pick them up as soon as possible to get the most out of them. Kind of an interesting idea. Houston, we have another complication. I see the door from here. Sit tight while I hack into the relevant node. How long is it going to take? I don't know. Go for a walk or something. Take a walk? Sure. And now we'll I'll get into that. one of the major mechanics of the game. So, we can press left trigger and take a walk. And there I take go. a walk... Let's see if that robot I saw is smart enough to control. We can take control of uh, other let's units. Let's get this over with. Where's that panel? Time to head back. What the hell? The door is open. Heading through. Man, ghost, what was that? I was instructed to take a walk. So I did. You're not gonna explain what that was? Nope. Trade secret. I'm assuming we will eventually find out what that's all about, other than obviously having something to do with, you know, being named Ghost or going by a code name of Ghost. But that seems to be basically the major puzzle solving mechanic of the game. Uh, which is pretty neat. Houston, requesting controls to an immobile lift. Sure thing. Seems like there's a control room past the gap. Can you confirm? Let me take a look. Confirmation on the room's location and the presence of one robot. All right. I'll work on getting into that system. Don't worry. I'll be back. Alrighty, time to take a walk again. And we can also pr press right trigger to warp right back, which is nice. And very handy. In case that robot decided to move. Hacking going well. You can't 
just drop an Arnold Schwarzenegger oldie quote and... Good job, Ghost. Fantastic work. No, this is ridiculous. I can't... Go on, Ghost. I think Jacker is having a moment. Now there's one more major mechanic that will come into play here pretty soon. Will probably be a good place to, to pause for now. Um, the yellow cubes, as far as I know, are going to be like an experience or currency of some sort. Actually, I haven't gotten that far yet to know what they're for. But that would be my assumption. Houston, door. It's going to take a while to hack. Are you able to walk down to the level below? Sure. Not that I'd like it. Looks like there's a switch below, and the guards near it have laser weapons. Sounds like fun. Walk initiated. So, if enemies have weapons, we can also use them against other enemies. Like so. Of course, they can also destroy you. Fortunately, we do fire a bit faster. Now, I don't know if you can ever find uh, items while you're in the ghost form, but we can press this button at least. Hop back in, and away we go. Uh, what is in this room? Oh, that opens that. How do I get up here, though? Hmm. I can't just ghost my way through here, can I? Interesting. So that opened a path to the save room. Here comes one of the other major mechanics in the game here. Several sensors are detectable around it. Don't trigger those sensors. Shoot. I think those are in a closed system. Ghost, can you trigger the sensors? Shoot. Roger, roger. So, we basically have no choice here. We are going to have to trigger the sensors. And this will set off an alarm. Automatic defense procedure initiated. When this happens, you'll start getting ambushed by quite a bit of robots. This time around, we've got made robots. And depending on how you do, Haven't forgotten about you. you will get uh, bonuses after this. Opening doors. There we go. Did that one without taking any damage, I believe. So now, because of that, we get all these crates. Um, I would have gotten an achievement if I hadn't already gotten it. Um, and I believe you get more crates depending on how well you do. And the alarm levels have... Yeah, here we go. Yeah, own level of alarm. Alright, the level, the more defenses. And we'll be able to see that as we walk into different rooms. Now, not all rooms have an alarm system. Some are just, you know, standard. They just have enemies in them. Alright, there we go. It's the blue card. Good job, Ghost. Proceed ahead. You can see that shows up on our... Can we use this terminal here? No. Uh, I'm trying to think now. We don't have a map just yet, but I do see that there is an option for one. Alright, we can open this door. Our blue key card. And this door. I believe we just need to keep going this way. But you see there's another alarm room down there. And a whole bunch of whatever these experience cubes are. Or currency cubes or yellow John or whatever you want to call it. Alright. This is, you can see, a level 2. So this is going to be significantly more difficult. I would love to be able to do this without taking damage, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's probably highly unlikely. 
Um, since I already just took damage. We got new enemies here too. We got these spinny saw blade guys, and uh, we got turrets here, and just like all sorts of stuff. Much more difficult room. Although I will be sad if I only took that one point of damage right at the beginning there. And again, there seems to be a challenge with um, you know picking up the cubes faster to get the maximum amount of points, potentially putting yourself at risk. Obviously, I don't want to die here either, so be a little cautious. That one was easy. Alarm deactivated. So I did get hit there, so I believe, yeah, I won't get max crates there. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. control these guys. Oh, I can control the little ones. Huh. Interesting. I believe this is our opening credits for our voice actors. And others, for that matter. This will be a good place to stop as soon as I can find a uh, save room, basically. Uh, I think there might be some auto saving, but I'm not 100% on that for classic mode, so. But we will get a new gun here a cybernetic frog launcher. Not frag launcher, frog launcher. Secondary weapons. Um, you can use it anytime. They don't. They have the same reloading ammo. You can see here. We can make frogs. Pretty weird. Houston, the icon in the gate seems to indicate another 3D printer. That's good news. Enter and unlock it, so we can continue from here if your body is destroyed. Acknowledged. Ghost Boogan here. Best if you could scan yourself again picked up new stuff and it would be nice to have them next time your body is printed. Understood. I'll try to scan myself anytime I have new items. Wouldn't want to lose anything important. But what if I get destroyed before I can scan all the cool weapons or power-ups I've found? Try checking the wreckage of your last body, I suppose. You might be able to recover something. So an interesting thing there, I believe that's saying that if you die, instead of having to go and collect all the stuff in the locations they were again, you can just kind of Dark Souls it. Go to your last body and you'll get all of those items. That would be a really, really interesting mechanic. So hopefully that's how that works. Alright, so we can save. But you can see also the reprint with Founder Frame. Now the Founder Frame, um, this code was given me to, me to me by the developer. So I'm assuming this is like people that bought it early on or things like that. Um, let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, so we got kind of some fancier colors there, which is pretty cool. A little bit of a skin change. I'll save again. But uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. Helps a lot, especially on new series. If you're interested in seeing more of this game, or leave a comment or something like that, uh, let me know. I'd be really curious. Let me know how the audio levels are, too. Fiddle around with it a little bit, but for a new game, it's always good to know if um, how audio sounds to everyone else, not just me. But anyway, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you soon.